All right, here we are at Patrick Leos, who is a legendary Swedish music video director. He's been directing, shooting many of uh, our videos previously also. So we are on his, at his premises here. We're gonna shoot a couple of music videos for the forthcoming Syrah album, the two first singles. I came here from Finland where me and my wife, we had a fantastic week at the summer house, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Peace. We did quite a bit of sports and, you know, rode ro with the, you know, fat bikes, some track and field, uh, boxing, wall climbing, really cool and obviously just resting and reading, reading books and now we're here. Yesterday we had a rehearsals with Syra. Now we're shooting videos today and probably tomorrow. And then on Thursday we're gonna travel to Falun, where we're gonna play at the Sabaton Opener Festival. And then we're gonna play after that in Stockholm at the legendary pub Anchor. Love it. Right, we are here at the Syro headquarters. Me and Alex are supervising while the other guys. Yes, yeah, well somebody has to. And I think they're doing a good job. An okay job. Let's see, let me say an okay job. Yeah, right? yeah. It could be better. Yeah. Could nah. have been faster, could have been more efficient. But whatever. The, uh, Tune, where are we going now? Uh, I, I honestly don't know. We're supposed to go to Fallen, but uh, we're making stops along the way, apparently. But the... Uh, the goal is to reach Fallon. The goal Sabaton is to reach Sabaton Open Air and the goal. play some. The goal is to get some coffee. Music. Are you filming this? Yeah. And this is my home now for this run. This is actually the Jake suitcase. I need to remove that. <laughs> Thrilling. Moose. Just woke up and apparently we have arrived at the Falun, the Sabaton opener. Here's our Mad Max machine, our tour bus. It looks rough, but it's actually really nice. Here's the main stage, here's the second stage. I think we play on the second stage, I'm not sure. Here's the ski jumping. Falun is a kind of ski resort. <laughs> There's the ski jumping lanes. As you can see, this is a great place. I'm doing sports and apparently also playing some metal. But uh, these premises, there's something for everyone. Ski jumping, slalom, cross-country skiing. You gotta find a hockey arena here. <laughs> Oh yeah, ice hall. No matter where, what a ice hall. It's always like coming home. The smell, the atmosphere, everything. Man, I would like to go there and skate, play some hockey. Now. But I'm not here to do that. I'm here to play metal, but I really would like to play hockey too, here. Drums are set and Tintin, the best lightning guy in the world, is, uh, as you can see, he's working. <laughs> and we have Marshall, we have lights, we have the whole sheep, which is nice. Here's the Guitar World, 2SPs, Marcus Gibson Explorers. And our Yumongo Greeks are there and the stage is there. It's always good to bring your guitars as early as possible to the stage so get, they can get used to the climate. You know, tuning makes 
all that stuff. You know, basic stuff. Let me see some hands up here! Okay, we just entered legendary Swedish rock club called Pop Anchor. I played here quite a few times, like 20 years ago, with my old band Gods Blake from Finland. When I walked in, well, the, the stage is, I mean, it's small, but it's actually a little bit bigger, bigger than back then. And what I thought was cool, like, oh, they have a nice wallpaper here, like, a, you know, backdrop. But fuck me, they're real marshals. Like, <laughs> how cool is that? I don't know yet if they're if they're functional, but they're they're real, real, uh, you know, real knobs. <laughs> with Saira in Sweden was amazing. We shot one video, full video, parts of a, another video, did two shows at Sabaton Open Air, Stockholm, the legendary pub anchor, had a promo shooting and so on. Almost directly after the show in Stockholm, I took a bus to the airport and flew to Finland and now I'm here in solitude, in peace and in quiet in Lapland. Some of you might hard to believe, but I'm kind of hermit. I mean, I like the company of people and everything, but I'm always really exhausted after spent time with people. So now it's just me and my wife, which is somewhere there. Just two of us, nature, animals. You know, this, this way I recharge my batteries. I love this. One, po one day we're gonna move here. I'm going to go swim at Lake Inari. It's a bit chilly, but it's it's fine. I don't know, 10, 12 degrees. I think it's actually probably warmer than the air, the, the lake. Rock and roll.
fantastic blueberries. I don't know if there's that many places in the world where you can actually eat stuff directly from the nature. But Lapland is sure one of them. And these blueberries are good. Here in the center of Ivalo, reindeers are casually eating grass. Hey Rudolph! Here I am with Ada Larsson, my good friend, fantastic drummer and fantastic drum tech. Thank you. Ade has played with Cyro many times, filling in for Alex Landenberg. And he has been drum teching many times. Today you are drum teching and filming. Filming and drum teching, some light uh, guitar uh, engineering and uh, more. I'm, I think I'm more here like for a moral support. This time a little bit, actually. But, yeah, you know, well, you all, always are. I try to. Yeah, you're yeah. the backbone. Well, <laughs> if you say so, man. If you say so. <laughs> but anyway, the last week in Lapland, Finland was great. You know, we did some hiking, swimming in the lake, drinking from that lake because it's very clean. And now we are in England uh, going to Bloodstock Festival where we played. Nice stage, nice tent, really big, cool. All right, we are at our in our truck, which our dear friend, <laughs> well, a Jack from Cypher sixteen, Cypher sixteen, Cypher sixteen, great guitar player, and obviously a, a great tour manager. Because look what he he has arranged. So tell us a little bit about this, Jack. So this is a uh, I run a bar company called Flight Case Bars, and um, actually it's funny we played this Sophie stage at Bloodstock with my band Cypher sixteen nine years ago, and I just built. This, this is not the, the same one, I have like 30 of these now, but this was Alpha at the Guinness Bar and I, I built a Guinness Bar so that we could have draft Guinness on tour with us. And we came to Bloodstock and um, people had saw the bar and they were freaking out backstage, actually almost exactly where we are parked now, which is fucking crazy. Right? <laughs> and uh, people said, hey, you have your own draft Guinness Bar, it's like a keg, it's like being in the pub, but it's in a flight case. This is a really cool idea. This was 2013, so I, I thought, you know, I didn't think of anything yeah. of it. And then, few years went by and then, and then uh, COVID hit and I put we had one bar then and I put it in the back of a van and I started delivering draft pints of beer around London when all the pubs are closed <laughs> and now we we did we did we had we, we did really well <laughs> and now and now we have 35 of them and uh, it's uh, it's 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 worth a lot of money now <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so anyway when the Sarah guys came up uh, I thought well fuck it I'm gonna bring up the van to help them out with some stuff but I'll, I'll chuck in a couple of bars as well and here we are <laughs> So uh, we're already making friends with everybody. Yeah. yeah, we are already making. I mean, it's good for the other guys. You know, I, I've been uh, I've been sober for several years. I, I can't even have one, so I stay out. But uh, I, it's really cool that the. But you know, Jack has or oh, I don't know who arranged, but there's non-alcoholic drinks, which is great. But this is. And was there a Jägermeister? Uh, yeah, we so we have Jägermeister. <laughs> we have, uh, so this is yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, So this is like minus minus eighteen. And you pull this, and, and it comes out so so. You know, warm Jaeger is regret. Cold Jaeger is great. Heaven. <laughs>
man, that was a hot one. One of the easily one of the most hottest and sweatiest shows I've ever played. I almost faded, fainted at the end, but it was fun. It was just really sweaty. But hey, anyways, thanks for watching this. It's been a three weeks of my life and Cyro life and a little bit my personal life with my wife on, on vacation. It's always done. I'm here at Bloodstock waiting for the ride to take us back to the hotel and then I'm flying tomorrow home to Switzerland. Anyway, take care. All the best. See you on the next one. Bye.